The case your saxophone lives in is usually an afterthought, but there's some important stuff you should know about saxophone cases. And if you've got a Barry Sax, keep watching because I want to show you one of the best Barry Sax case solutions I've ever come across. Jay Metcalf here from bettersax.com. I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Sweetwater, our favorite place to buy music gear. When you buy a saxophone, it comes with a case. Less expensive instruments are going to come with more basic cases and more expensive instruments are going to come with slightly upgraded cases usually. Here's what you get with a student Yamaha saxophone. For example, it gets the job done, but it's pretty basic. This is the case that comes with a Yanagasawa professional horn. It's definitely an upgrade with the front pocket, hideaway backpack straps, shoulder strap, and the subway handle here. Now, many people will be fine sticking with the case that came with their saxophone, but there are some very good reasons for upgrading. Reason number one, you've got an older saxophone and the case is smelly and nasty. When we play, a lot of moisture can develop inside the horn. And if we don't swab out that moisture before putting the instrument back in the case, guess what? Over time, the case fabric can start to smell funky and even get moldy. Unfortunately, most saxophone players never swab out their instrument, which is pretty gross. If that's you, I recommend you pick up one of these Better Sax Ultimate Microfiber Swab Kits. These are awesome and will keep your sax clean and dry inside, which will keep your case from getting stinky. Saxophones that have been in storage for a long time can also get pretty musty, especially depending on what type of environment they were stored in. If your case is smelly, musty, moldy, or just generally funky, that means your saxophone, mouthpiece, and all the accessories you keep in there are gonna have the same funk on them and not in a good way. So as a matter of hygiene, you should replace a musty old case. I have tried to clean up and restore old smelly cases in the past, but since there are multiple layers and various materials involved, they don't usually get all that clean in the end once they've gone nasty. Reason number two for getting a new case is all about practicality. The more you move around with your saxophone, the more important this becomes. So if you never leave the house with your saxophone, a new case is probably not a great investment. But if you're a student and you've got to bring your saxophone back and forth to school every day, or if you're at university and you're going to rehearsals and classes, or maybe you're a teacher and you gotta go to different teaching studios or to different students' houses, or maybe you're a working musician and you've gotta take your instrument to rehearsals and gigs, the size, shape, and weight of your case become really important considerations. Now, a lot of the stock cases that come with instruments are a bit bulky, heavy, and don't come with things like backpack straps to make them easier to carry around. I recently got two new ProTech cases and I wanted to show them to you as possible upgrade options in case you're looking to get a new saxophone case for one of the two reasons I mentioned earlier. This is the ProTech Zip Micro alto saxophone case. Here's what I like about this one. The size is really the minimum. So if you wanna travel light, this is perfect. It's also lightweight despite having an ABS plastic shell. I recently traveled for three weeks and took this case with me on planes, trains, stuffed in car trunks, and the New York City subway, and it was the most unimposing case I've ever traveled with. It has dual backpack straps, but I only used one and slung it over my back like this so I'd have both hands free. The horn I had with me was this prototype for the new Better Sax Intermediate Alto Saxophone coming out soon. It fits very snugly in the case, as will most modern saxophones. I know ProTech makes a variation on this case designed to fit certain vintage instruments. The case closes with zippers, which have their pros and cons. A lot of sax players say they prefer latches. These zippers are really nice and heavy duty. They appear to be ready to last a long time and they open and close very smoothly, never getting stuck or caught on anything. The case also has these nice sturdy handles here and here. Now, when I first got this case, there were two things that concerned me a bit. First, there's not a huge amount of material between the saxophone and the outside world. Now, this is an obviously necessary trade-off if you're gonna have something as slim and compact as this case is. So while this did concern me after thinking about it, let's put it this way. You never wanna drop your saxophone 
In any case, no matter how much padding your case has, the shock of a fall can still damage your instrument. No saxophone case is designed to allow you to just throw your saxophone down a flight of stairs, let's say. Oh, and by the way, this thing right here, the end plug is super important. Make sure you're always using it. It protects the octave key mechanism that sticks out and allows your saxophone to sit snugly inside the case. We don't want it to move around in there when it's closed. My other concern was the lack of storage space. There are separate compartments for the neck and mouthpiece, which are actually very nice, but that's it. Everything else, like my neck strap, reeds, geeklet, and swabs need to go in the bell or be carried somewhere else. Protect does sell an accessory pouch designed to carry stuff like this and go inside the bell. I always had my camera bag with me so I was able to keep any extra accessories in there and I managed with just the essentials inside the case. It's always a good idea to store your swabs outside of the case since they're absorbing all of that moisture in your saxophone and we wanna keep it as dry as possible in there. After three weeks of heavy international traveling with this thing, I can say I do love this case. It protects the horn well, it's super light and minimal, it fits easily in small places, and best of all, the price is really reasonable considering what you're getting. Sweetwater has these in black and blue colors for 170 bucks. I put a link in the description if you wanna check it out. Later on, I found out that Protec also offers a case cover for this thing, and I ordered it. So this is how I'm gonna travel from now on. The case cover offers some added padding, hideaway backpack straps, and a huge storage pouch where you can put tons of stuff. There's even a couple zipped pockets inside for organizing all the small stuff like reeds that you don't want just floating around in there. While it does have the subway handle, this case does not stand up you have to put it down horizontally. The case cover does add an additional $116 to the bill, so if you're on a budget, you could just do like I did and go minimal. During my trip, I visited Sweetwater in Fort Wayne, Indiana, where I was demonstrating this new horn as well as a bunch of other Better Sax products that they sell. So now Jay is gonna demonstrate the tradition on the Burning Out <laughs> And this is one of the things that's really extraordinary about that company. They do these massive training sessions for their staff on all the products they sell. This is why you can call them up anytime and get someone on the phone who actually knows what they're talking about and can help you. Not only that, but all of these folks have to go through this 13 week training program at this is a real thing, Sweetwater University. They've also got extensive musical backgrounds and many of them are working musicians as well. So as part of our demonstration on Better Sax burn and mouthpieces, we played an arrangement of Mercy, Mercy, Mercy for alto, tenor, and baritone saxophone. The Barry player, John, who works at Sweetwater, shows up with this case in the Barry version, wearing it as a backpack. And I was like, what is that? I used to play a lot of Barry gigs, but my Barry Sax case selection was always very lacking. I could never justify paying for one of those fancy BAM cases that sell for over 1400 bucks now. This case cost $379 at Sweetwater and I ordered one immediately. Well, I don't have a lot of Barry gigs these days. When I do need to bring the horn out, I'm set up and ready. You can fit most low A and B flat Barry saxophones in one of these. It has wheels as well as sturdy backpack straps and it comes with a padded pouch to store the neck in the bell. There is not a separate storage compartment, unfortunately, but there is room to put plenty of other stuff in the case. I'm gonna have to provide my own accessory bag to keep in there. This case also closes with the same sturdy zipper and has the subway strap at the top. My Yanagasawa 901 Barry Sachs is held very snugly in there. The wheels are big and roll very nicely. While I haven't used the Barry case in the real world yet myself, my friend John at Sweetwater has been using it extensively for the last couple of years, and he's told me it's served him extremely well. So considering the price, this is going to be an extremely popular Barry Sachs case, I'm sure. There's links in the description for both of these cases. Now, when it comes to saxophone gear, there's a lot of mistakes people commonly make. Watch this video next to find out what they are and if you're making them, and if so, what you can do instead.